The life of a Still Dreams maker is more than a job. It's a way of life that you just got to love. One of the biggest names on the scene is Still Dreams maker Fernando Escobar. Let's go behind the scene and hear how he gets all those money shots. What makes me different than other photographers is that um, I shoot really fast. I do it like a psycho speed. I just shoot, 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 and, and I know I got it right away. Comedy plays a huge part of my photo shoots because I just like to have fun on the set. I joke around a lot and I do a bunch of antics and make people laugh, and it's a contagious thing on the set to make people laugh and have everyone in a good mood. And I just like having a good time. It's just ha To have a good time is one of the most important things in my life. Nothing says you're serious about getting that magic shot like hanging off the back of a camera car. Hi, I'm Eddie Hatch. I'm with Camera Cars Unlimited. This is a camera truck that we're working on today. A device used to put cameras on at many different angles and different positions from front to the top of the camera car to the back. Research on this basically wanted a camera car that we could put in the worst conditions. Eddie here is taking air out of the tires of this Hummer H1 and uh, that'll give us a good year ride. It was a 60 PSI and we're taking it down to 37 PSI and this will give us a nice smooth ride. And here, here's a platform we've lowered underneath the normal height. We're about seven inches off the ground. Put a sleeping bag down and we're gonna be laying down this low as we take pictures, even without even looking to the camera of the cars that we're shooting. Most of the time you want to do a shot like this. You got the car rolling right in front. You want the sun hitting you right in this angle and you start shooting, you know, like, you know, right here. You get some good shots and you get shots like that. Just like this, I got the wide angle on 17, 30ths of a second F22, and I'm not even looking through. Like a Zen thing, look at that. That's how you get these kind of shots. Well, I got a shadow there, but and you can watch out for your shadow. See the shadow? You gotta watch out for that. When you start shooting a lot of film, you know you're getting a good shot. You feel it, you just shoot, shoot, shoot. We shot about eight rolls right there, and that's when you're really feeling it. Some stuff looking through, some stuff without looking through the camera. Just shoot away. Just sit there and shoot. Don't wait for anything. Just kind of take chances to go bang, 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 bang. See if you get lucky. Photography is about a luck game. It's a numbers game. All the pros shoot a lot of film. That's how come they, how they get the great shots. That's the secret right there. Last shot of the day, we're shooting this black truck and we're all done. You see the sunset going on? This is the last shot. Fernando Escobar also has his hands full taking aerial action photos and video of high performance custom boats for Steel Dreams. You may have also seen several of his pictures in some of the top publications in the boating world. Proving he's got nerves of steel, here's Fernando going at top speeds in a helicopter, just a few feet off the ground to get that perfect shot. To capture aerial photography action of boats and power boats is a, it's, a, it's no joke. It's a super hard situation. You got a helicopter that's going 100 miles an hour with a boat that's going about 80, 90, 100 miles an hour also. And you gotta have strict communication with your pilot, convey what you want, where you wanna be. At the same time, look for traffic of other helicopters or airplanes, power lines, and uh, it is no joke. I've even crashed on a helicopter. I uh, got out 30 feet underwater from a crash in Lake Havasu. I almost died. And uh, that's what led me into skydiving, so now I skydive as well. Fernando and his crew have been following Chris Cook, his company Shift Into Gear, and Christine Marie Motorsports for nearly a year for an upcoming documentary. Part of the film project called for hot shots of Chris Cook next to his race car. And when Hollywood needs those scorching shots, they call on Gem FX Studio. Fernando's longtime friend and special effects engineer, Ilya Popov, worked diligently to provide real fire and flame. The new happening thing in town is called drifting. In fact, there's a new movie called uh, Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. And you're gonna see it all over the place. It's already happening and it's getting bigger and bigger. Now there's an event drifting and uh, it's just getting bigger as you see in this video right here. Recently, Chris Cook and his company, Shifting the Gear, brought the worlds of NASCAR and drifting together. Drivers like Casey Kane and others were instructed on how to drift. That's NASCAR and professional race car driver, Chris Cook, getting his own drift on. The shoot proved to be challenging, 
requiring the Steel Dreams maker to obtain footage of the NASCAR from a 21-foot jib. The jib follows the drift cars at high speed while Fernando is just a few feet from the action. Roger Borget and Borget's Bike Works called on Fernando to capture the heat that is Borget's signature. Big flames and smoke were used to create the set and the mood of a fiery warehouse. Fernando even paid a visit to Borget's factory in Arizona to capture still photographs of the detailed bikes before the video shoot. Steel Dreams TV going border to border and coast to coast to bring you all today's motorsports action. The hottest rides, the coolest people, the most extreme location. It's Steel Dreams TV.